anybody Michelin from Michel makes here wearing uh, a pattern that I made I'll stand back and let you see just a second I've done a vlog on this where I it's a Lakala pattern and I've used it from scraps the just leftover scraps I had actually bought this fabric from um, beyond the pink door or behind the pink door I think it's beyond the pink door and there was only half a meter so I didn't have enough to make a whole top and I also had this turquoise fabric so I combined the two and I used this from some fabric that I had as well and at the back I've put just used the ordinary jersey sleeves one jersey sleeve one part knitted one well it's actually a piece that goes all the way like that and I actually did the cable in a different direction I love oh no I also piped use this to pipe there love the top and I think I shall be making some more I'll be using a lot of my scraps to make it a couple of others I've just stabbed myself with a pin it does not hurt anyway this vlog is not about what I'm wearing it's about something else so let me tell you a story this is this goes back to june in june or july maybe it's even july the beginning of, it was beginning of july i went into town because my i knew that when i was going to on holiday to amble that my sister was coming and she's like me she likes earrings which by the way i haven't got any in today forgot to put them on uh, she likes earrings so i thought right i'll go into town and i'll see if i can find some nice earrings for her and I went into a place, a shop called Matalan and I picked some earrings for her and I liked them so much I bought myself a pair and uh, I was standing in the queue waiting to pay for these earrings and the lady in front of me, a young girl, had the most beautiful pair of dungarees on and she was standing with apparently her mother because I got in a conversation with her not long after, after I stood behind her and they were a jazzy, really rainbowy, all sorts of colours in it, really nice uh, type of uh, pair of dungarees. And I said, excuse me, I do like your dungarees. Did you make them? And she said, no, I didn't. And she turned around and on the label, on the pocket, which was here, on the pocket here was a name and it was called Lucy and Yak. And she said, they're Lucy and Yak trouser dungaree. She said, I can't afford the real one. She said, I can't afford to buy them new. So she said, there's a certain site that sells second hand. And she says, these are second hand ones. Now, she was a very pretty girl. But she had earrings in her nose, earrings in her eyes, earring in her lip, earring in her tongue. And she was with her, with her mother. And I thought she was only about 18. So in the conversation we got on talking, she, she was actually a mother and she had a little girl. And she was saying that she's from down south and she'd come up to see her mother. And, and I said, oh, you'll have to get sewing. And she said, well, my mum sews, but I don't. And I said, you'll have to sew. You'll have to make a pair yourself. And I said, and then you won't have to pay as much for them. So anyway, I went away and I thought, right, Lucy and Yak. I thought, what if, you know, immediately I got back in the car. I'm looking up Lucy and Yak to see who Lucy and Yak were. And it's a, a lady, who, and a partner who's travelled the, uh, the back story is that they've travelled around uh, the continent. And they decided to come back, start off in Brighton, but I think they're somewhere in Yorkshire, I believe. And they make these dungarees and they get them made abroad elsewhere and they're made from natural cotton or canvas fabric nothing man-made and they sell like hotcakes and she, as I say she has this big square label on it which stands out so I went home and I started looking up Lucy and Yak clothes and a pair of dungarees was about 60 70 pound and I thought yeah, they are nice so I'll put some pictures up of the Lucy and Yak dungarees that she sells
I want to make some. I want to make some like that, but I need to find a pattern that's very, very similar. So then I kept looking and I kept looking. I, every time I went to Lucy and Yak, I had, came across other people who said more or less the same thing. I love Lucy and Yak dungarees. Does anybody know what pattern they use or what where I can get a, a similar pattern? And it actually ended up that somebody did know what, what pattern it was. And they said that they thought that Lucy and Yak used this particular pattern. And the pattern was, and I've forgotten what it's called. Hang on a second. And the pattern was by Waves and Wild. And it's called, if I stand up and let you see, that's it. That was the pattern. And it's called the Hey Day Dungarees. And um, I don't think there's a rear view of it, but basically the um the ties on the top it's a loop with ties and that's what hers were like but on this pocket is there a pocket there you can't really see but there is a pocket there and there's also the pockets on there uh, the, on the pockets they had their label and so i started looking at the lucian lack and then i came across an instagram picture of somebody who bought corduroy ones and they embroidered the pocket And what I liked about it was, um, I liked the way the person had kind of uh, modified a pair of boat trousers and they'd done the embroidery and that was what I was kind of letting everybody see on my Instagram. But uh, my son then messaged me because it, when it showed you that, it also showed you Lucy and Yak, the Lucy and Yak badge. And my son immediately said, Mum, you know that, that video you put up on Instagram? And I didn't even know he looked at Instagram. And I said, which one? He says, the one with the, the one where it was embroidering flowers on the pocket. And I said, yeah. He says, that's the label you need on your, on your clothes. He says, that really stands out, that Lucy and Yak label. He says, that's what you need to do. And he says, you need it on the outside so that people can see that it's yours. And I thought, well, that, I have to say, that was what drew my attention when she turned around and I saw this big white label on it. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe I should do something like that. So I decided to design my own label. But then, let me go and get the label first. And then I was going to get it made. But when I went to look at all these websites that make them, they all said minimum quantity 25, 35, 50 or whatever. And they're working out quite expensive. And I thought, well, that's lovely, but I don't, I'm not going to turn out that many. I'm, I'm 71. I doubt if I'll turn out a major, quite a lot of things like that. So... I just figured my, for my age I didn't want to waste that much money but then I thought hold on a minute you've got a heat press you've got loads of white aluminium plate why not make an aluminium label so I made an aluminium label and there you can see it there and it says shishumi and uh, it's a kind of a, a an anagram of my name sort of because my name is Mishu or Micheline and I, I it's Micheline but on this vlog I call myself Michu Makes and um, my father used to call me Michu and his lordship calls me Shimmy Sham so I kind of was playing with it and I thought what about Shishu? Shishu me. So I did that and I made this little aluminium plate and it's white and I put at first well I actually made it bigger than this and I thought oh golly it's too big so I've cut it down I guillotined it down and of course the holes are very close to, the, to where the words are so if I do some more I'll make the text a fraction smaller but then I thought I could sew that onto my dungarees so I found I went searching on the internet trying to find somebody who did really really cheap fabric and I really didn't care what it looked like because the heyday one the um the Lucy and Yak ones did quite bright and snazzy and eye-catching stuff i wanted to be the same i wanted something that might be eye-catching but the first lot i got at first uh, was just two pieces of fab two lots of fabric and i found that pound fabrics did them did cheap canvas and it's a check it they had some in a sale a check it cotton canvas and uh the first first ever pair that i made was 
this one this fabric here and I don't know if you can see it's a checkered cotton it's navy blue and a, like a yellowy color that's looking very pale there but this is more of a if you think of um, uh, what would I describe it as the color of a very old Bernina if you have a very old Bernina <laughs> Or um, if you'd stain something with a piece of coffee, it's a bit like a coffee yellow. And this one, this fabric that I got, it was 250 a meter, so I couldn't go wrong for 250 a meter. And so I actually got two meters. Did I get two meters? Yes, I got two meters. And this was the first pair that I made. The first pair that I made, I um, I did it exactly as the as the pattern said and you see i've got the luciniac thing on there and i didn't have enough fabric when i first laid it out i, I ran out of fabric and the, i ran out of fabric such that i had to make the pocket in two pieces and i had to put this little piece in the middle it, it and i made it so that it's kind of fixed there and um if i stand back and the straps were quite long i haven't shortened the straps yet they were quite long i haven't done the buttons yet on there but they were i think I by the, because i had to cut such long I, I followed the pattern i cut really long straps and the legs were quite wide so i then put it on when i finished and i tried it on and i went into show his lordship and i said what do you think of my dungarees and he said they're lovely but he says they're a bit baggy on big bit wide on the leg so then i went and i thought oh right okay well i'll take them in so i tapered them in both sides and i probably shouldn't have done that i think i should have probably tapered them in more on the outside than on the inside because they kind of go really in a bit but that i mean i'll show you in a minute what they look like but they have turned out okay because i didn't have I think you probably need a two and a half to three meters because and because I'm short I took advantage of being short but I had to do the back in two pieces so I've got a band across there I've got a top bit and a bottom bit and also being my first attempt I didn't have enough fabric to make pockets for the front so this this particular pair of dungarees doesn't have any pockets in it so that was the first attempt and I liked them. I thought, let me get sat down again. I thought they were really, really nice. With this original pattern, the legs were wider. And by having to cut the wider legs, I didn't have enough fabric. So I had to do the back in two pieces. And I've added a bit of extra seam allowance on both the top and the bottom so that I can sew them together and overlap them and French seam them. Also, because of this, I didn't have enough fabric on the crotch area on both uh, both sides. One side, I had less fabric than the other. And what I've done is I've cut a piece and I'm going to jigsaw it together. I've given myself enough fabric on both to allow an overlap and probably do some kind of flat felling on it. I might so I've given allowed myself some overlap, a good bit of overlap. I don't know if you can see a good bit of overlap there. So I might do right sides together and then press it one way and just top stitch it to add a bit of reinforcement. But that is going to be my patchwork back legs. And I thought, well, since I bought two lots of fabric because the, because the fabric was so cheap, and I thought, well, if this doesn't turn out right, I can always bin it and start again. But I didn't because it had turned out nice. I thought I'm going to use the other fabric, and the second fabric was exactly the same. Uh, no, the, the second fabric was this fabric was two fifty a meter, and I used two meters. So that's five pound for a pair of dungarees. This second fabric was red and black. Can you see and this was three pound a meter they were both it doesn't say 
what width they were, but I think they were 60 inches wide. So this one was the second pair that I made. And again, move you out of the way. There's my Shishu, Shishumi label, label. And um, I managed to get the pocket, because I was wiser, I managed to get the pocket out of it, but I had to put a band across the front there because I didn't, the way that it went, the way, by trying to get all the piece, pattern pieces out, I had to do a little bit of a jigsaw -y stuff. So this is my second uh, dungaree pair of trousers, dungarees, using this cheap pound fabric uh, canvas. I only bought two metres and I haven't got enough to cut two full lengths of the front and the back. I've managed to cut the back length, but I've still got the front to do. I've cut the front here, but I, the way that the pattern was, I ended up with uh, not enough to do the top half. So basically I've cut across there, I will square it off a bit more straighter there and then I'm going to, I've got enough fabric to, um, I think I've got enough fabric to maybe do the top half with this and it's going to be kind of a patchy bit, we'll have to see how we get on. This is going to be yet another jigsaw puzzle because I've already made a pair jigsaw puzzled and I managed to get a pair out of this so I've just got to cut this bit off. And then I've got the straps and the um, straps and I don't think I did the pockets on the other ones because I didn't have enough material for pockets. I might put some side pockets in. I'll think about this on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to lay this other fabric on here. I'm going to have to try and do a bit of um, jigsawing and put that on and see if I can cut the top half. That bit there from this fabric. That goes there. So I'm all right. No, it's that way. So I've got that piece of fabric and it just basically goes up and across. So we'll cut that out. So this is the top. This is where the pinning is going to be. Very just uh, roughly done. I'm going to have to match the lines up a bit. Uh, as you can see, because these are various size squares, some are wider than others and it's not going to be as easy to match though so I may have to just put up with that but that's going to be kind of at my waist level could put a pocket there which is going to cover some of it anyway so might just get away with it okay so this is the front uh, try to match those squares as best possible this hasn't matched as well as I would. That's better on that side than it is on that side. Um, but hey, it's, you know, I'm happy with it. I've got a pocket to put on there. So I think that would draw more to there rather than there once it's on my body. I'll just put pins on here because I haven't finished finished off the um, the bands yet. I can't decide what to do. These, oh, I shortened this band. Because the other one was too long, I shortened this one. And it's probably a bit too short. Now, my battery's flashing, so I'm going to have to go and get another one. They don't last very long, do they, those batteries? Let me change it. New battery fitted. Should be okay. So, because the other strap on the, other, on the first pair of dungarees were too long, I made those shorter. But these are just meeting where they touch. They actually end up being very, very short like that. So I think I might do a contrast at the end to make it stand out or possibly do something at the back to make a, a black a black piece there. I, I haven't decided what to do there. But these have turned out even better. I tapered the legs before I started, so I had a lot more fabric left. Um, instead of the seam being at the back it's across at the front there I've got a seam across the waist there so I haven't got a seam at the back like the other ones there and I managed to get pockets out of it so I've got the pockets on there and they go down the way that I've sat them on my I've actually sat them across the side there and I did try to match where I could but it didn't always work um but so they turned out really nice
So, enjoying making them so much, I thought, right, I'm going to go and see what else they've got. And they had some more fabric. But I wanted even bouncier stuff, so I got this one. And this one isn't on here, actually. Oh, is it on here? It's on the back, maybe. No, I don't. Well, I've got this one. And this is, it was just circles. Uh, it's it's a greeny colour, like a, a pale greeny colour. And it's got these uh, circles on it. Oops. And I think these were the same. It was £2.50 a metre, I think. I'm not seeing it there, but I think it was 250 a metre. And again, I haven't done the ties yet. Pocket, I think I might saw the pocket up there because it stopped it flapping out a bit. And um, get this out of the way. This one, I cut the legs a little bit too short, so I put a little piece on the bottom. I've actually put like a little cuff on the bottom. Can you see the little cuff? Just from whatever, I, I, I had to just take whatever fabric I had to try and do that. And uh, it's got little circles all the way. There's flowers and there are, um, there's a recipe. And I tried my best to get the back to match because obviously that's going to be seen. Didn't do so well there or there, but I kind of tried to get it matching as best I could. And so those turned out like that. I'm loving these dungarees. So I've made one pair, two pair, one pair, two pairs, and three pairs of dungarees which I will use over the winter. I will probably put jumpers over them. And the nice thing about these is it'll be easy to go to the toilet, I think. And uh, those three pairs, all in all, cost me 16 pounds. 16 pounds for three pairs of dungarees. Now I think that's a bargain. <laughs> and I was so impressed. So I bought some more and I, I I bought some more canvas because it was still going cheap and the I'll put some pictures of what I got I got one called all over petals in cotton canvas and fabric it says brown now I'm not a lover of brown but this actually turned out when it came it's like a, a, a purple it's got a, it's like a purpley pinky hue and it was two pound fifty meters so I got two meters of that and then I got a Distressed Lines Cotton Canvas Fabric Blue and I'll put a picture up of that one. These were all I got two metres so if I wanted to I could make one, two, three, four, five, six more pairs of dungarees. And I know I'm still using the fabric that I've got on there but I just figured it would be quite nice to make these and uh, you never know I might start passing them on to the grandkids or making some of the grandkids. Then I got Miniature Checkered Cotton Canvas Fabric in Light Blue to, that was three pound a metre so that cost six pound and then I got brown tropical leaves on beige cotton canvas fabric so that was 350 a metre and I took a fancy to this and I think it's going to look quite nice my favourite circle collage cotton canvas fabric in red and it's got it's all got cartoony stuff on and I thought that was another nice one and I have topped it off with bananas and apples cotton canvas fabric in a khaki colour and that was three pound a meter which was six pound so for all of these that I've just listed I paid 36 pound for it um I think the whole total cost including carriage and VAT was 40 pound so for the price of one Lucy and Yak pair of dungarees I have actually what that one cost me twenty pound and that one cost me forty pound. I would be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of dungarees out, and I also got some jersey fabric, which was six pound a meter. I bought a meter of that, and I'll make a top out of that. So that's sixty quid, sixty quid for all those dungarees, and I'm loving making the dungarees. It don't it takes me about two hours to make. Love them. 
If an old lady can't wear dungarees, what can she wear? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to stop. Oh, oh, in the making of the pattern, the pat um, the I had it's a it's a downloadable pattern, and uh, what can I tell you about it? You can actually choose what size you want, if I remember rightly. I think it's one of those layered patterns where you you choose your size and it removes all the rest of the sizes from your listings and then it prints off the ones that you want the size that you want and so um thoroughly enjoyed making them i would be making more you know I, and do you know what even if i don't wear them myself i'm going to put them you know, put them in i will put them in the charity bag and they will sell they will sell so i'm sure um even if i don't wear them somebody else will but i'm sure i will be wearing them because i love them so much so i'm gonna love you and i'm gonna leave you